Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. So, such a good God. Such a good God. Uh, we have so many, so many things. What is it, baby? Okay. We have so many things to, hmm, to pray about and to bring to the floor today. Oh, my goodness. But... Lord God, before we do anything, we just want to. Yep, mommy is talking. We just want to. Um, we just want to thank you. We want to honor you. We want to lift you up. We want to lift you up, Lord. You are good. You are good to us, Lord. You are good to us, Lord. We just we honor you. We honor you. We honor you. We put our mind upon you. Lord, we just, I just thank you. Lord, we just cast off every form of pride, every form of jealousy, every form of familiarity that just makes us, you know, we can get disrespectful and complacent and all kinds of things. Lord, we just put off ourselves today. We put off ourselves right now. We just renew, renew ourselves afresh with you. Lord, we just thank you. We honor you. We honor you, Lord. We lift you up. You are king. You are God. We are here for you and you alone and to do your work and what you called us to do. Lord, we just thank you. We honor you. God, you are so good. You are so good. You are so good. You are infinitely great. Lord, you just exceed our expectations. You exceed our every thought. Hallelujah. We just praise you and give you glory. We talk amongst ourselves right now, <laughs> recognizing who you are, who you are. You are the great I am. You are the God who spoke this world into existence, Lord. It was you, you that created all things. Lord, I thank you for your infinite wisdom and your plan which is perfect. Lord, we are honored to just come and partner with you. We're honored to come Ooh, and just partner with you and love on you. Jesus, we just so thankful, so thankful. Thankful for everything that you've done, everything that you've done, everything who you are, every, every element of who you are. I mean, you're multifaceted. We just can't even comprehend your greatness and how amazing you are. Jesus, we just give you praise and honor and glory. Thank you for your tenderness. Thank you for your mercy. Thank you, Lord. I know that some are, are dealing with things and <clears throat> they're dealing with hurts and dealing with family and dealing with all kind of maybe backlash and or fear, or anxiety, or busyness, or complacency, or pain, or sickness. Lord God, we come seeking you face to face, mano y mano. We've come to be <laughs> right at your feet. We're not working so much that we don't see you. No, how could we? How could we? How could we be the cup that pours but has nothing to pour out of it because we didn't take time to seek your face. Lord, I just thank you. We come before you, oh, just to be at your feet, just to be at your feet, just to be at your feet, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. I just see a lion's head and beautiful flashes of purple and, and green and yellow and, and a beautiful purple and blue mountain and the, the lion's head just ascending to the top. Lord, we just thank you. You are the God over, yeah, I see that. Okay, I understand that. All the colors, I was seeing the flashes of these colors and and I didn't name them all, but, he, but then it, it all formed up into this mountain and it's all the mountains into one because God, he's the head, Jesus, he is the head over all of them. Lord God, we just thank you. 
We worship you and honor you. We give you praise and glory. Hallelujah. Lord, we just thank you in concerning every everything and concerning our families. Let me let Custer outside. And concerning our loved ones. Hallelujah, Lord. We just thank you. We glorify you. We magnify your name and who you are. You are God. You are God. You are God. You're God over all, all the cosmos, Lord. We surrender our lives before you. Hallelujah. Oh my goodness. The Just the beauty of the revelation of the fact that when we surrender everything to him, not our ideas, not my way, Lord, but your way, not my will, Lord, but your will, not my thought, Lord, but your thought, not my plan, Lord, but your plan, not what they said, Lord, but what you said, Lord, hallelujah, it doesn't matter what it looks like in the natural, but I'm believing what you said, hallelujah, in the spirit realm, when you spoke it. It's still alive today. It still moves today. It still breathes today. It's still living today. It's still moving today. Your word shall not return void unto you. Hallelujah, Lord. But yet it'll accomplish the things, the, pro the strategies, the plans, the promises, everything, the fall and the demise of those who are wicked and evil, who plot and plan against those who are innocent. Every word of your mouth shall accomplish what you sent it out to do. There's no one greater than you. Nobody can beat you. No one can outsmart you. No one can outthink you. No one can outstrategize you. No one can outlive you. Hallelujah. You got. <laughs> Hallelujah. The mystery of the ages. Hallelujah. You got the ancient of days. Woo. The man who's lion and who is lamb. Hallelujah. You got. The flaming and mighty one, the one who's an all consuming fire. You, we lift our eyes to you. What could be impossible when we set everything down at your feet? This is why things seem impossible when you're striving and you're and you're 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 drilling and planning and trying to pray and break and do this and move and all these things you're trying to do and break free, but because our eyes are not fixed on your will, your way. Lord, I just rest and relax and know and rely upon you. I'm not trying to figure it out. I don't need to see and, 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 have, and have my way and have control. But Lord, we just lay everything before you. Because it is at your feet that strategy comes. Hallelujah. I heard you. Holy Spirit said it was in it was it was in his rest that Jacob saw the angels ascending and descending. He was not striving. You got to understand it was in his in his rest. Hallelujah. That, and when he woke up, he saw. Hallelujah. I think Jacob didn't have a whole lot going on. We know he did. But it was in his rest. It was in his rest. It was in his rest. Hallelujah. It was in his rest. It was in his rest. I just keep saying it. It was in his rest. It was in his rest, Lord, in our rest. In our rest. Lord, I thank you that you're releasing strategy. In our rest, we will see the hand of Almighty God has been moving this whole time. In our rest, who we will receive the keys in which we've been looking for. Hallelujah, in our rest. Hallelujah, in our rest. In our rest, you will pray, God, reveal something that I've lost and I can't find and it's missing and I don't know where it is, where I put it, da, 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 and you're just kind of spinning around in circles looking for it and you're praying, 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 but you ain't got the answer. It's when you sat down, okay, Lord, I, let me just stop running around for a second. Lord, I, I don't know what I did with this. I'm trying to find it. I don't know. Holy Spirit, would you bring it back to remembrance? There it is. Why? Because he said, be still and know that I am God. Be still. The storm. Oh, thank you, Holy Spirit. The oh, about that. The storm is raging. The storm is raging. It's raging. It's it's raging. Hallelujah. The storm is raging. But we knew it was going to rage, because He told us it would. Hallelujah, Jesus. 
Jesus, 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 Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise your name. Praise your name. Praise your name. Hallelujah. Lord God Almighty. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Mm. Praise your name. Praise your name. Praise your name. Jesus. Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, just have your way. Would you have your way, Jesus? Would you please just have your way? <laughs> Would you just come and have your way? Hallelujah. Oh, that's right. Hallelujah. Mm, hallelujah. Jesus. Would you come and have your way? Have your way. Hallelujah, Jesus. We just thank you. If anybody hears a word from the Lord, please just let us receive it. Hallelujah, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Mm, hallelujah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Praise your name, Jesus. Praise your name. Hallelujah. 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 Jesus. 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 There's a word that I need to give out that I um totally forgot about. Hold on. Hold on. I cussed her back in. I totally forgot about it. process of doing all the whew, things for uh, for the ministry uh, just kind of sometimes you get just get so so sidetracked on other things I just forget that <laughs> there was something else I needed to do well this is a word I heard on the sixth, which I believe was Wednesday. Okay, uh, yep, on Wednesday, the Lord spoke to me. And um I'm still I'm still pulling this one apart here. This is especially the scriptures that he gave me for this. It's this um it was it's definitely um it was definitely some warnings in here. <clears throat> Hallelujah. I shared it with Denise, actually, but let me share this with everybody. It's entitled, All Hail the King. Um, hallelujah, Lord, I just thank you. I just want to give you praise. I just thank you. There's, there's such a um, different presence of the Lord. It's a... Uh, yeah, that's, thank you. Thank you, Lord. It's just, it's literally got my hands shaking, but it's, it's just a, like a, pre, just, what is it? Just like a reverence, a presence of reverence that is just, it feels like, I don't know how to explain it, but it feels like um, there's a, if I can just say it this way, it feels like there's a line of it <laughs> or a lid to it. I don't, and it's, I don't know how to explain it, but it feels like, how, like if something, if you have a lid on something and pressure begins to build, you can feel the tension on the lid. I, it's just, it just feels like that right at where the, I, the line of it feels like it is. Oh, Lord, I just thank you for your, just for your goodness, for your mercy. Thank you, Lord. <sighs> Thank you, Lord. Uh, let's let me read this really quick. It says, <clears throat> "It says now listen in and tune your ears." Says the Lord to the churches, for I'm about to unleash a trumpet blast that you'll want to hear and want to know what I'm doing. For I reveal my words to my prophets, and I'm revealing my works today. 
I shall cause the stars to fall from the skies. That's more than skies. So that to me, I take that as in the natural, the stars, Hollywood, because he said more than one sky, also second heavens. Um, <clears throat> he said, and the trees to burn up. As I make my way down upon this earth, the quaking of the fault lines will begin to rumble again, just as it did in the days of old, says the Lord. My glory shall reflect into the sky, and it shall be even seen by many. And just like I've said before, there is nothing new under the sun. And you shall see, and you shall see even, or I'm sorry, and you shall even see your Lord come down and fight with you. The time has come, and I say, all hail the king. Now, right after I heard this, and this was at like, this was at 1.07 1, a.m. by the time I got done writing it. Um, I heard it at like 12 58 AM, but I mean, I was, <laughs> I was going to go to sleep and I'm like, okay, well, let me write this down and I'm writing it down. And right after I got done writing it down, I began to hear angels speaking. And this was this chatting spirit realm chatter is kind of how I, what I call it. But I heard the words slice it open again. I've heard that once before, exactly that slice it open. And I wrote in there, I heard this once before. And then I heard another angel say Christmas time. That does not mean that it's going to be at Christmas time, but there's at Christmas time. There's so much anticipation and expectation that happens that's built up, you know, for that time, a swelling. I just heard in the spirit, a swelling up. Hallelujah, Lord. I, but the the scriptures that He gave me to this, like I said, I'm I'm still going through that. It is, and I'm it it's, yeah. There is going to if there is a strong warning in those scriptures, and I, and I understood Him saying He's going to release a sound, a trumpet blast that you will want to hear, because those who are not listening, who are not hearing, who are not, they're just not because. It's the same story of the uh, of, of the of the the ten virgins. They, they, you know, no one can make you do anything. You know, make you want to care or make you seek the Lord. No one can make you do that. God's not going to make anybody do that. And I'm not. I'm not saying that this is directed to anybody in this group in particular. Um, but there's a lot of people who watch some of the uh, the videos i need to do a um separate video for this but or maybe i don't know that's fine i can do a separate one but um but it's still a call to examine yourself examine your life don't become complacent don't don't become so familiar that you don't hear like you should hear and I don't mean that you hear the audible voice of God and then, you you know, and, you know, Moses and Elijah came down. I'm not talking about all that. Just mean, know, know that pride is not blocking you. Know that you are able to reach him. You know, notice that you're getting confirmations on things that he's told you personally, not the things that you've heard someone else say. And then you hear someone else confirm it. That includes me. I'm not special by any means like by any means, totally a person. Um, hallelujah. You just, but your own like personal words that he's speaking to you personally, because the Lord has a lot to say about your life. And if we just stop talking long enough to listen to him talking, we'll hear what he's saying. And I really mean that. I really mean that. No one can say, I don't hear like other people here. It doesn't matter. You hear like you, your name. You hear like, insert your name. 
I hear like Kristen hears. You hear like you hear. But God has equipped you with the ability to hear. Okay. Hallelujah. And if you feel like you're not really hearing the way that you want to, then ask him for more. Ask him for more. Continue to get your soul healed. Please do. Please. Please. As I have said before, as the glory of God increases on this earth. Like he, when he told me and showed me, actually, when he showed me in 2020, then he showed me that Trump won the presidency and he showed me that the intricate system was crashing to the ground and it was going to break, be shattered. When he showed me all of those things. And that was actually, it was in that encounter. The very first thing I heard was slice it open. That was the very first thing I heard, slice it open. And so <laughs> that's where I had heard it once before, but in that one, and he showed me, he showed me that gold was coming and he was going to hand out gold and he was going to hand out bonds and he was going to hand out these things. And he showed me that the glory was going to be increased. It was going to come upon the earth. And I had been and up until that point. I had seen so many visions that just, it just never stopped. It was like constant. I'm like, wow, it was just amazing. There's so many. I'm like, okay, God's definitely, <laughs> it's definitely saying something. <laughs> Where the glory was coming and it was going to pour out like a, like when I say a flood, I mean, not like a flash flood. I meant it looked like something from like some San Andreas fault lines looking stuff where they show you those movies where, you know, or, or, or deep impact or anything where New York city, the skyscrapers are basically almost underwater. That's how much water I was seeing. And I, and I would see the water even was I, the water wasn't mindless that it was just going through destroying things, but it was seeking and it was searching. It had like a life. It would look down the streets and it was looking where, where, who, and it would just pour in and pour through. And, and, and I remember in, in one of these instances, encounters that I, I was in, and I was on a rooftop on this skyscraper and, and the, it was, the storm was coming in. It was such a thick and heavy storm. It was just, it looked beyond tumultuous and the lightning was so real and vibrant and, and striking and the thunders and, and, and just those peals of lightning just, you know, creeping across the sky. And I, and I felt like I was so close to it because of how tall up I was on the, on, on this building, the skyscraper on the, on the roof. And, and then suddenly the, this, as that storm was rolling in and the water was just going through and I could see the, a lion, a lion just like appeared almost right in front of my face and he clawed in both directions. And I was like, whoa. And I was just, I mean, I felt like I was at like maybe the IMAX or something or I had some kind of um, like virtual reality headset on. It was like, it was right in my face. I thought, oh my goodness. Oh, whoa, oh my goodness. But the Lord said, as his glory increases, the demonic manifestations will also increase. They will increase. They will increase and in, 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 in not just, you know, it's easier for non-believers to receive. Okay. I just, just going to go into this direction. I really feel the flow of the spirit going this way. It's easier for the non-believers to receive, to receive God because they don't have that religious spirit. It's the ones who sit in the church who become religious and rigid. They get closed off like the Pharisees. They get closed off and they can't hear and they cannot receive. Isn't that exactly what Jesus continued to say? That they cannot, they can't see, they cannot hear. They cannot discern anything. They just felt like they just knew it all. Oh my goodness. One of the things the Lord told me was that I was talking to him about um, someone had asked me about, you know, how to pray and things like that. And, you know, and as I was just talking to the Lord about, about it, and, and I had been talking about it, other things with him, even before that, one of the things the Lord told me was that he didn't even bother. Jesus was like, I, I didn't even bother to cast out the demons from from the Pharisees. You see, see that? 
didn't even bother. Why? Why should I? They were content with what they had. I just see such a beautiful portal opening. Lord, I just thank you. I just thank you, Lord. It's beautiful. It actually reminds me of my desktop. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The screen thingy that I made about the glory with Holy Spirit. That's what it looks like, but it's up in the sky. It's beautiful purples and blues and, and they're real um, electrifying looking. They just look like you have that electric through it. But yes, Jesus said he didn't even, he didn't, he's like, I didn't even, I didn't cast the demons out of them. I'm like, that just blew my mind. I'm like, dude, I didn't even think about that. <laughs> he didn't. He didn't. Lord, let me not. <laughs> let me not go that way. Let me not do that. But you have to understand, yes, he lived with them and they wanted to kill him and do all this stuff to him. He had all the power. You hear me? He had Holy, he, Holy Spirit was on him. He had all the power over the power of the enemy. He, he had the power. Why didn't he do that? Because guess what? He's like, that does not bother me. That does not bother me. Flesh so dead, that does not bother me. Oh, you don't like it? You don't like it? Okay. I mean, that hurts me zero. They could not kill him. They could not hurt him or harm him. Jesus specifically made the distinction that they cannot, no one was taking his life. No one was taking his life. No one was doing nothing to him. This is, this, everything was his, everything that happened to Jesus was because his father willed it. And it was exactly the will of the Lord, God. And that's what he did. And he accomplished everything he came to do. Sometimes we are trying to accomplish everybody else's race, including our own. Look here. Ooh, let us be concerned with what God has called us to do. Let us put the blinders on the sides of our eyes so that we're not looking everywhere else. Oh, let me help you do this. Let me help you do that. Oh, let me help you do that. Let me help you go over here. Let me help you do that. Nope. You know, actually, it would be better if you did it this way because, you know, if you pray and you do this and this and that and blah, 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 blah. And then we get all into our will. We don't hear what God is calling us to do. We don't hear what he's saying for us. We don't hear those things. We stop hearing because we think we know where we're going. We don't know where we're going. We don't know. That was, he made it very clear to me in the dream that I had the other day too. He said, follow me, not go in the direction that you think I'm going. What was one of the things they said to him? Follow you. Well, where are you going? How is he saying where he's going? We not going to be able to go and do this, this, that. How is it? They at least inquired. Today's people don't even inquire. They just, they just go. Oh, well, this is, this is what I'm supposed to do. This is how I'm supposed to go about this. This is how I, da, da, da. we can't guys. We have to come back to, um, we have to rein ourselves in and we got to come back to understand that and all our getting all the knowledge, all the getting over all this period of time. It's great. Right. But in all you're getting, you need to get understanding and know what God is telling you strategically to do. Do you understand that he has a, a strategic word for you every single day? Every single day. For every person that you're going to come encounter with, if you would just surrender yourself, you will find out what it is he wants you to do. Sometimes it's literally just wave. Just wave at that person. Just smile at that person. He's not asking you to evangelize every single person. Why? Why doesn't he say do that? Because they might not be ready to hear those words because it might've been the answer to their prayer might've just been, Lord, if you love me, then you have somebody say hi to me. And then the first thing you come to do is evangelize them. And they're like, I hate when people do that. God's like, I just wanted you to wave at them. I just wanted you to say hi to them. Answer their prayer. 
but you were so concerned about your own will and doing what you felt was religiously right. Listen, that religious spirit has to die. There's, there's going to be moves that God is going to do upon this earth that are not going to make sense to you. But you have to be sure of yourself not to curse the thing of God because you don't understand it. And you confuse it for the thing of the enemy. That's just pure truth. Then you're cursing the move of God. You're praying away the move of God. God, I don't want, we don't want this. We don't want that. Listen, if tornadoes and hurricanes start hitting this earth like crazy, you think that that was, that was just only the devil? When God, one of the things the Lord said back in 2020, that the weather was going to preach and prophesy. So if we just hit, we just get tornadoes and all kinds of things out of nowhere, we can pray, Lord, let there not be any demonic spirit within the, these storms, operating these storms and protection upon our household. Lord, what would you have us to do? And listen to what he's saying. Not we rebuke these storms right now. We command them to go back to hell and da 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 da. Listen, we have to slow down. Slow down. It's like yes, I just hear the Lord say, "Stop, look, and listen." The, those three, those basic things that we taught our kids: stop, look, and listen before you cross at an intersection, right? Before you cross the street, stop, look, and listen. You need to stop. Look at him. And then listen for what he's saying. Or you're going to step all over his feet and fall on the ground because he's not going to be like, oh, you hurt me. No, you're going to put yourself on the other side of that line and then be fighting against the Lord. That's not what you want. Listen, he, I'm telling you, he, back to this word really quick. He says, now listen in. Now listen in. You, the reason why he's saying now listen in is because you're not listening. So he says, now listen in and tune your ears. So that means come back to his will, come back into recognizing it's about him. It really is about him. It really is. He really is the author and the perfecter of our faith, but not just our faith. That's not just me personally and you personally. It's every single person, every single person. He knows when every per any, any person who's going to be saved, he knows when they're going to be saved. He knows he already has a person lined up. Or he knows he has things lined up. Well, how do we know that? <laughs> because that's what because he said he wrote in the books of our lives what it is that he has for us and those are only good things does that mean that they follow along every single time no but god constantly is reaching people we need to just slow our roll and realize let god do his thing okay let god do his thing and let us do our thing by just humbling ourselves submitting to the lord and sometimes we just got to pivot a little bit. I got to pivot. I got to pivot. <laughs> got to be flexible and move by the impulses of the Holy Spirit, not by our own impulses, but by his impulses, what he's doing. But he says this specifically to the churches, okay? This is why I want to just, again, one more time, and I, there's such an importance on this, such a, such a pressure on this right now. He says, now listen in and tune your ears says the Lord to the churches, not to the world. He's not saying that to the world. He says to the churches. For I'm about to unleash a trumpet blast that you'll want to hear and want to know what I'm doing. For I reveal my words to my prophets and I'm revealing my works today. I shall cause stars to fall from the skies and trees to burn up as I make my way down upon this earth. The quaking of the fault lines will begin to rumble again, just as they did in the days of old, says the Lord. My glory. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I, I just want to make a note here because Holy Spirit is hitting on something again. Uh, and I, this was probably back in Oh gosh. And I, I, I always guess the year, but it's like something back 2015, maybe ish, or maybe 2014 when I saw Beyonce, Jay-Z and Rihanna fall from the sky 
Like it was like a, a city scene. I just went into this vision as the, and I just saw them fall from the sky and the ground opened up, like literally opened, like, an, like, like it split open like an earthquake. So there was no rumbling. There was no notice. And they just fell straight through that and it, and it closed back up. And I was like, oh my gosh, I just saw this is this. Lord, we prayed for, for repentance and salvation for them. Lord, it's, it's going to, without warning, you remember there was a time where, where we had this moment, see the, the, we had a time where we had an increased influx of sinkholes. I don't know if you remember this, but we had sinkholes that, you know, that, that happened in, it happened in Florida. And it was like, these were just out of nowhere. Like I grew up my whole life, never even knowing anything about a sinkhole living in Florida. Then all of a sudden you got sinkholes out the wazoo. They're not digging anything. There's no tunnels being dug under Florida. Can't. <laughs> so everybody wants to blame everything on a tunnel. I'm telling you, listen, okay? Some people will be like, oh, well, that had to only be the enemy because only the enemy comes to kill, steal, and destroy. And yes, he does come to kill, steal, and destroy. But people need to understand that God is his, <sighs> the law is not done away with. Jesus didn't do away with the law of, he just did it, okay? He came to fulfill it. He said that. I know people will teach it otherwise, but if we could just understand scripture, he didn't. He didn't do away with the law. And one of the things that was why the Israelites were finding themselves being where God was not, was fighting against them and et cetera, et cetera, was because their own rebellion and their own disobedience and getting into paganism and idol worship and, you know, complacency and et cetera, et cetera. And to the point where he was like, I don't care about your festivals. I don't care about your offerings. I don't care about your Sabbath. I don't care about any of those things that you're doing. I'm actually tuning my ears. I don't care about any of that. But what I am going to do is I am going to send your enemies because your sin is full. You understand he's a just God because your sin is full he didn't say, oh, well, not because there's like 10 people who are good here. So no, I'm not going to. No. He was like, you as a city are being judged. <laughs> and I'm going to turn, you know, the, the Chaldeans again. I'm going to have them come in and I'm going to have them do, you know, all these. I'm going to let this happen because you, you have done nothing but sown sin and death. So therefore you have to reap the harvest, okay? Seed time and harvest is here to stay. Let's not get tunnel-minded. So so again, if just please seek him about whatever you're seeing. You see things in the news. You hear about things happening and et cetera, et cetera. Seek him. It's not that God's evil and he's just killing people off. They reaping what they're sowing. And then some people will say, well, what about the Christians who were there? <laughs> Hello? What did he say in the very beginning? Listen to me. I'm trying to tell you. I tell my prophets. I'm, I would like to talk to you because he's saying, listen in and tune your ears, says the Lord to the churches. I'm about to unleash a trumpet blast that you'll want to hear. And want to know what I'm doing. He's like, hello, if you would listen to me and tune your ear into me and stop walking around with your religious shroud on and thinking that you're all that in a bag of chips. And if you would just humble yourself and look at me and listen to me and rely upon me, right, as necessity, not only when you're in times of trouble, but always, then you would know what I'm doing. Plus, I'm revealing it all to my prophets. So if you would listen there and at least heed those words from there. Because I'm telling you what's about to happen. Do you know how many people were saved in 9-11 because they didn't go into work? Because they heard God say, don't go? Some may hear, hear thunder. This is like another word that he, he gave. That he's going to speak a word and some will only hear the sound of thunder. They're not going to even know. And that's that again is confirmed by scripture. It's so important. So important. It's so important. It's so, so important. So important. Please. Please hear him. Please listen to him. Please look at him. 
because his word says my people perish for a lack of knowledge. Well, here comes some knowledge. Perish. Die. That's a physical death and spiritual. So it's important that we keep ourselves right to where we can hear. If God says, don't go there, don't you go down that way. Don't go over there. Stay in the house today. I really just have this feeling I should stay in the house today, but it's so nice out. I'm going to go. Stay your butt in the house. It's important. That's not to scare anybody. I just give you pure truth. I'd be an idiot if I don't tell you. And then I'd be so reliable and accountable. Lord, we thank you. We thank you first and foremost that we will hear you. We will hear you. We will, Lord, as a prophetic act, we just turn our faces to you. We tune our ear to you. And we say exactly like Samuel said, listen, is it, speak, Lord, for your servant is listening. He didn't just go, oh, this is definitely God. I know that this and this is going to happen. I got No, he heard the instruction of Eli, even in his corruptness, and he obeyed. Lord, we just thank you. Let us obey you. Wow. Thank you, Lord. Did anybody receive anything from the Lord during that time? And then um, if not, praise his name. I just feel released from that. Um, and we will we'll just we'll go on here. Hallelujah, Lord. Kristen. Mm -hmm. Chris, so when you said as a prophetic act, turn our faces up to him, you know, I'm, I'm see purple a lot, just purple. When I close my eyes, sometimes it's just a small little amount. As I turned my eyes up, the purple became like the sun, like a shining, shining star with all these beams just coming out in every direction. It was just so beautiful. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Because when we turn our face to him, you know, he turns his face to us. I'm telling you, he lays his face upon your face. He says that he he doesn't want any of his children to perish. Okay. He loves everybody individually, loves you all. I know he loves me too. I just want to say it for myself, but he loves us. He loves his children. He takes the time to tell us because he's so good. Not because of anything we've done. He's just so good. <sighs> wow. Okay, Lord. <clears throat> thank you, Jesus. Lord, I just thank you. He said, the Lord just said he's, he's sending his peace. Let me tell you, he's sending his peace to you. He's sending his peace to you so that you know that all if you just stay in step with him, you're going to be fine, okay? You think he's going to let something bad happen to you if you're listening to him? No, he wouldn't even be a just God at that point. Hallelujah. Okay. Let's, let's, let's do this thing. on here thank you <laughs> taylor margie denise and trisha for all your hard work and effort every single day i honestly appreciate you all very much thank you so much for all your hard work you guys work hard you guys are always uh so diligent and i just thank you so much for all that you guys are doing. I thank everybody for, for contributing 
to the bell tower, to, to, to the group, to each of us, whether, you know, your words of encouragement, you know, the scriptures that you're, you're, you're hearing, I, we just, it, all of it, it doesn't go unnoticed. And I just want to say thank you to everybody. Now, really quick, we want to stop off with some praise reports. Anybody have a praise report that they would like to share? Please give us your praise report. Hallelujah. Y'all got to praise the Lord. I know you guys. Somebody's got to praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Lord. Nobody can praise the Lord. Y'all kidding. Okay, you know, I got some things. I got some things. All right. I, can... <laughs> I know I already told you, Kristen. <laughs> but um, I've been, I mean, this is, you know, I say this to silly, but just like you said, that when you got your 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 uh, townhouse, it's like he had that sunken living room. It's like mm. he remembered that you liked that, you know? And I was like, Lord, it'd just be so nice to have a nice golf cart, you know? And our friend had um, been selling his for a lot of money. Like, uh, there's no way we could have afforded it. And he's been like a brother to James. And I just reached out and I said, hey, you know, I could definitely use your golf cart. <laughs> I could definitely, if you if you want to give it up, you know? And he said, you know what? It's If you want it, it's yours. And, and then he, you know... Um, messaged me and said oh I sold it and I was like okay no that's no that's fine well then he and James my husband surprised me with it last night and I was just like thank you Lord I just praise your name you are so good I didn't have to have this but it, it's so nice to have it and I just praise your name and I give it back to you for your glory Lord <laughs> it's just so good and then when I was resting this morning from our really busy trip last night um I was just in and out of sleep most of the morning, just resting. And I, I, I felt uh, it, the Lord visited me. Hallelujah. He visited me. And I felt like this um, tingling and, and just chill go up my legs and all over my body, like a tremble chill. I can't, I, it's hard to describe. And then it just left. And I knew, I knew it was the Lord visiting me. And I have prayed, Lord, please let me know what you did. I don't know what he did, but I just thank him. I thank him for his presence. I thank him for his visitation. So hallelujah, Lord. Thank you all. Glory, honor, and praise go to you, King, my King Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. I love that. Yeah, he remembers all those things, the things that we, you know, that we say what I, he's so good he's so good loretta said psalm 5 him going around in my mind this morning well i direct my prayer and look up look at that come on lord right on target oh me and taylor are acting as one i tried to do, to do something but it already said i did lord we just thank you for that look at that look at that hallelujah who else has a praise praise report Give God some praise. Hallelujah. You got a praise report. If nothing else, Lord, I thank you that you woke me up this morning. I have put me on my feet, had me going the right way, Lord. Hallelujah. Well, I was productive today. Got some, I got a lot of stuff done. Actually productive every day, really. But I really felt like, you know, I got some things done that I really wanted to get done. He's so good. And, and he's, he gave me some excellent help. Um, I'm just so thankful for every person who's offered to help and do things. It's just, he's just been, God's always been amazing, but he's just been um, just such a key role. Lord, I just thank you and everything you're doing. I literally would be nothing without you. Cause I know, I know the scum I was before, <laughs> before I was anything that was worth even looking at. Lord, you always looked at me and said that one right there. I love her. <laughs> thank you, Jesus. He's so good. He is so good. I'm so thankful for him. Hallelujah, Jesus. Anybody else have a praise report that they want to give? I do. Yes. Oh, baby. So, um, um, well, I have many, but I'll keep it to the one that uh, was just <laughs> very, such a blessing. 
uh, Toby was playing with the dustpan. And long story short, he gave himself a fat lip with it. No. And so I was praying over it, pleading, you know, the blood of Jesus over him, loosing the trauma <laughs> and the pain from him and just declaring the swelling was leaving him. And literally that next, I mean, that next morning, it was, I, when I say a fat lip, I'm talking about like a dime size bump mm. on his upper lip. And you could see the, the red, like teeth mark, the tooth mark or whatever, like cut mm. on his lip that caused it. Mm. And literally next morning, it was pretty much completely flat. Thank you. Jesus. I mean, this thing was standing <laughs> out and I'm like, oh my goodness, Lord, we can't have, we can't have him look like I beat this child. <laughs> we got to take care of this. Yes. I've seen goose eggs disappear within five minutes. You, I'm like, come on, Lord. Probably. I mean, just super huge knots on the head. I'm like, oh my goodness. Lily actually split a part of her head, forehead open. And she, cause she hit like a some some wooden corner um when she was like six or something like that and it was just bleeding i had to actually wrap her whole bandage and wrap her head up that's how i'm like oh my goodness but we prayed over it i mean the healing was miraculous it was just miraculous uh, jet split the 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 gum that attaches your your top lip to your to your uh gums there's like a little uh I don't even know, like a like there's an a, 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 a an attached, a horizontal attached gum that it kind of attaches it to your mouth. Well, Jet actually severed that as a baby and he was just bleeding like crazy. But we prayed then because he was just a baby, we prayed because he hit a he hit a, a box, uh he hit a box trying to stand up, being all wobbly and cute, and he hit his mouth and it severed it from because it was the edge of a box, but God healed it. And it's still there today. Praise God. I mean, God is so good. We He's so good. We can always give him praise. Even if it's something little, it's still something to praise him. Because listen, if we can't praise him in a little, we got a real hard time remember to praise him over and over in the big. Because sometimes we think, oh, well, I'll praise him when this happens. I'll praise him. He's like, well, you're supposed to praise me now. Praise me now. Lord, we praise you now. Hallelujah. We praise you Oh, Lord. Let's see, uh, Taylor, you said, oh, you said that earlier. Okay. I missed what you said earlier. So I'm glad I'm just not reading it where you said, you said, are you feel an intense, you said at 715, I feel an intense stirring in my stomach. Like I'm going to throw up. I'm not nauseous, but it's intense, I guess. How oh, Lord, we just thank you. How are you feeling now? I mean, after you gave that word, it definitely went down, but I was still like on fire, like <laughs> feeling Yeah, the I'm heat. telling you. Yes. But it was, and Trisha, she actually added like the perfect description. She was like, uh, she said, you know, it makes me think of the point in the roller coaster ride where you're at the very top and about to drop. And yes, like you're, you know, you're yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, really I see. intense, but like, I'm not nauseous like I'm sick it's just like wow the intensity right now is like this was it was serious I could yes it was so serious my hands were literally shaking and I, my hand is resting on the mouse I'm like my hands are shaking and my hands are at rest so it's not like I'm holding them up but it was it felt like that intense where it felt like I was like the lid was, it was like his presence was holding the intensity right over me. I knew I had to just go ahead and give this. I knew I just needed to go out and say it and do that because I've never experienced that type of intense feeling like that before where he's like, this is what you need to do right now. Because when Holy Spirit said, he said, I want you to give that word. And I thought, oh, I was supposed to give that word. And I thought, I'm sorry, Lord, I got all about doing that, Um, <laughs> which I don't normally do, but like, I forgot to do that. And sure enough, boy, he just came in here like, boom, I'm like, Ooh, there is, he is so serious about 
about that. Hallelujah, Lord. I just, we just thank you, Lord. We just thank you. And it's just, it really is. It's because we, we really need to, we need to pull in. We need to pull ourselves in. I mean, I'm just rein our own selves in so that we, you know, can make, we need to just be sure, you know, we need to be sure it's very important to make sure that we're, 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 we're doing what he's, want, he's calling us to do, not just what we think he wants us to do, you know, and be religious about it. Uh, okay. So for a marksman news, we're going to go do it a little bit different. Um, we're going to do it a little bit different because I want, I want everybody to be able to, um, engage where it's not just me me praying but everybody praying because everybody where you're where you're at your authority the word that your your uh your voice your sound i want everybody to be a part so let's let's all be a part first we're just going to go through the items on the news and then then we just let's just pick one to pray over okay i'm just going to explain a little bit what they are and then Again, just pick one to pray over. It doesn't have to be 700 minutes long. Please don't make it 700 minutes long unless the Lord moves you to, then fine. But, you know, they don't have to be super long. It don't have to be none of that. They don't need to be religious, okay? Pray what's on your heart. We just need to be sincere, okay? Just wanting to be sincere. Please don't regurgitate a prayer. Just be sincere, okay? Because it's really important. It's really, really important that we're being authentic and 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 not just you know, just trying to be like an echo sound. I really just want you to be authentic, authentically you. I just heard Holy Spirit. Thank you. I want you, yes, to be authentically you. Just pray, pray a prayer of faith. That's all that we're asking. The prayer of the righteous availeth much. It doesn't say the long prayer, long-winded prayer with every word and all those key words and things or whatever. It doesn't have to be like that because I don't want people to become like religious minded to where they think it has to sound this particular way. And then somebody else feels like they don't sound like it does. None of that matters. Did you see the prayer that Jesus taught them to pray? Our father that are in heaven, I will be their name. I mean, come on. So let's just, it's fine. Okay. So Marksman News, hallelujah. Bringing the world before his throne. So important. Marksman hitting those targets because that we're targeting prayer. That's what's really what Holy Spirit, why he had me call it this target, targeted prayer. So uh, the house passes the Lincoln Riley act immigration bill named after the slain Georgian student. The, what's important about this there. So there's movements in the right direction in regards to immigration, but really what we want to pray for is total justice. Total justice. We want to have total justice in the area. People getting people being slain in and not just this country, because not there's not just America. Um, you know, in 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 Haiti and in in Africa and Australia and Europe and and all these places, you know, all the places where people are being slain. Hallelujah. Lord, I just come against that right now in the name of Jesus. I drive you out. I drive you out right now by the blood of Jesus Christ. I command you to go now. Jesus name, every form of witchcraft, I curse you and I drive you out now by the blood. Go now. Hallelujah. Lord, I just thank you. Hallelujah. We send the host of heaven through this home and through this through this portal into their homes right now. And I drive out every demonic spirit. I drive you, I drive you out. I push you back and make you small, put you on the run now. Hallelujah. You will not interfere and interrupt. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Whew. Demonic spirit literally just jumped through the screen and like grabbed hold of my head and my head just started to feel dizzy. No, I curse you and I drive you out. Make sure you guys send like the host, send the host to heaven through your homes, especially if there's been any types of anger. Ugh. Sorry, I got my phone. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Especially if there's been any types of anger and violence and, and et cetera within your home. Um, any types of addictions and things, 
send the host of heaven through your home to clear out these demons that want to hang around the atmosphere of your home. Send them so that so that you're not battling and dealing with these demonic spirits. Does that mean that the person, whoever is involved with it, that they're uh, they're set free 100% and these demons are no longer attacking or attach them? No, but they, it does mean that they're not going to just be hanging around the house ready to attack you. Okay, so that's 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 why you need to do that. Hallelujah. Lord, we just thank you. Um, the I know um the breaking of breaking news. So Australian Parliament becomes first in the world to acknowledge excess deaths so they have I, they've rewritten in their law so i mean taylor can actually explain this even better than me but let me go let me let me let taylor just do it. i'll just defer to taylor and then we'll move on so the australian parliament becomes first in the world to acknowledge the excess deaths this is talking about they are starting to come out in Australia. The Supreme Court is saying that, you know, the mandates that they, they were forced under were not constitutional, that they are seeing correlation between the the rise in deaths in their country and when the COVID vaccines were released. Um, and they're starting to come out with more and more, uh, you know, information. And uh, they're starting to really expose some truth and they're right now they are the first country who has done this yes 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 so give us some prayer points on that taylor so we want to just pray that uh the rest of the world wakes up and that you know exposure exposure and then we want to pray against the poison in those you know in that we'll call them poison darts we want to pray against those um, for those people who have repented of it and, you know, that they don't have to live in fear that we, you know, cancel that in their bodies um, and speak life and, you know, life over them and that death, uh, really speaking life, because I, I want to say the percentage was, I mean, it was it was jaw dropping. I can't remember the exact percentage of um, the death rate and how it's literally shot up, but it was like, wow. And, uh, but yeah, so we want to speak life over yes. people. Yes. Yes. So we're speaking life hallelujah, and tearing down demonic laws. Uh, this is about the national guard deployed in New York city. They say it's to deter subway crime. I have no clue what the reason, the real reason is, but we're just what we believe after all the things that they've received in New York warnings for et cetera, et cetera. We're just going to pray for protection, uh, protection uh, in this city and for just exposure. Really, they just, they need exposure. They need the corruption to come down. Hallelujah. Um, this one, Tim Tebow calls for a rescue team to save exploited children all while the FBI drains resources from this important work to target school board parents. Okay, well, here's the thing. The rescue team, you know, some people say, oh, well, he's bad, tend to, I don't, I honestly don't care. This is not about him. But however, we want to, we want to pray that we need a supernatural rescue team going in and, and, and just relieving these children so we were praying for the children, okay? So if you if you want to take this one, it'll be about praying for the children, protection on the children, et cetera. Um, so yeah, the trading, so yeah, the trading of United States secrets to China. So we, you know, we want to, we want to pray for justice. We want to pray, pray for exposure. We want to pray for those, you know, um, for protection uh, on this country, <laughs> and 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 for those who are um who are behind the scenes i want to say behind behind enemy lines who are trying to do the work of the lord let's pray for them um oh yeah so this is this is texas here the uvalde police made many failures in the school shooting response so we yes lord we just thank you i just cleanse that for the kingdom hallelujah jesus i just thank you 
Thank you, Jesus. Um, we yes, we want obviously there's there needs to be justice. We want peace and and restoration, and 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 for the family to know. I believe it was nineteen children who were, who were killed in this uh, or slaughtered, and two teachers, I believe in this school shooting, but, you know, obviously we're praying against violence, et cetera. Um, this is just, this is unbelievable. Uh, <laughs> public workers created, joined in a ring uh, to steal homeless people's, I, you know, IDs, identities. So we just, there's just so much corruption that is in our public system for just from the lowest level all the way up. We just come against that right now in Jesus' mighty name. So we just, we want to pray, pray uh, for the people who cannot speak out for themselves. We we want to pray. We want to, we want to uh, protect these people and just send the host heaven to protect them. Hallelujah. Um, the Boeing 737 the, it's experiencing rudder failure. So they had many airplanes uh, experiencing rudder failures under investigation. Rather that be um, planned or whatever, we, we need to pray. Okay. We need to pray about that. We don't need these. And I don't know if that has anything to do with the fact that we've seen, um, it says that the jet gets stuck, you know? So I don't know. I don't know if it has anything to do with the fact that I've seen these planes really low. You know, I don't know. But the you know a seven thirty seven these are huge. I mean these are like the jumbo jets. So we need to pray. Okay, we need to pray. Um, France becomes the world's first country to enshrine the right to an abortion in their constitution. Obviously, we need to call down that. And then California, their offerings they want to offer zero down an interest free home loan program. So they want to do an interest free home loan program with zero money down to illegal immigrants. And these are for new brand new homes. So we need to pray because obviously this is to collapse the housing market. This is to collapse things. We need to pray. We want to pray, pray, pray against these things. Hallelujah. So who would like to go first? Let us pr let's pray. Let's you can pick anything you want. Let's pray. Hallelujah. Jesus, we just thank you. We'll sign that out. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Jesus. I can pray over the, since it's a little closer to my heart. I mean, all of it is, but yeah. um, since my son's a pilot, I can pray over the yes. 737. Lord, we just thank you so much for exposing these things. And Jesus, we just thank you, Lord, that um you love these people. You love the pilots. You love the passengers, Lord. And we don't know what's going on. We don't, you know, know if this has anything to do with the enemy's plans or, or malfunctions from um, when they were being built, Lord. But whatever it is, we just come against it, Lord. And we speak peace. And Lord, over the people who have experienced this, and and we just pray, Lord God, that that your glory come out of this no matter what lord because a lot of times when when people are scared that's when they reach out to you and we know that that you love them lord and sometimes it, it takes us to get down on our knees to truly remember who you are and that you are in control of our lives lord i just thank you that that you're helping these these people who are working on this uh, to give them wisdom and discernment lord and and supernatural ability to to know what's causing this and being able to fix it before any of the of this happens again lord we just thank you so much that that we can just lay this all at your feet lord and and protect everyone involved and keep them at peace and help them to to know you're with them lord lead them to you in this um lord god i i pray that no one has been has anybody been hurt yet from this or do you know it didn't say so in the in the okay. article. Okay. Well, Lord, I just thank you that you're keeping everyone safe um, in this, Lord, and that that um, you have your way and your will in this, Lord, and just to continue to um, be with us and and keep everyone safe. And and uh, and if it happens again, Lord, we pray that it doesn't, but that you'll keep the pilots and the, and everyone uh, on board in your peace. 
and trusting in you that you have them in Jesus name. Yes. Well, and if the Lord, I just want to add that if this be any type of strategic plan to down planes, Lord, we come against that right now and we send forth your word of exposure to expose, 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 so that there will not be great loss of life. Lord, we just thank you for protection of the life of innocence. And we just thank you, Lord, that no matter what it is that we see, no matter what happens upon this earth, that you will always be, always be God. Hallelujah. Thank you. Anybody else pick a, who wants to go next? Kristen? Uh -huh. Yes. Kristen, this yes. is this is Cecile. I'm I'm gonna pray for the Tim Tebow yes. thing. Okay. Um you had me pray for the children before, and I just think that yes, that's what the Lord wants me to do. Perfect. Um dear Heavenly Father, in Jesus' name, we we ask that you assemble a team to protect and save these exploited children, to heal them emotionally and physically, to bring them under your wings, and those children would know your goodness. We ask that you protect Tim Tebow and his family as he goes about dealing with these children. We ask that you expose and take down the plans of the enemy and that these, again, that these children would be physically and mentally healed in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Yes, in Jesus' name. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. That's, that's a sweet prayer. Thank you so much, Lord. Thank you, Cecile. Hallelujah. Uh, anybody else ready to go? Have I'll do uh, New York. New York. Mm -hmm. Boom. Got you. Go ahead. All right. Uh, Father, we pray for protection over the people of New York and for the National Guard that is being deployed to deter the crime that is running rampant on the subway. We pray for the corrupt leaders and their agendas that they're supporting to be brought down and that all will be exposed and that truth will come out. Lord, we ask and we thank you for your peace to fall over the state of New York and that ones will draw to you during this time. In Jesus name. Amen. In Jesus name. Hallelujah. Thank you. Wonderful prayer. Excellent. Who's next? Hallelujah. Kristen, I can do the one about trading national defense info for cash. All right. Yes. Go ahead. For China. Oh. Thank you, Papa. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit, Lord. We just thank you for your exposure that it'll be known what the, the secrets were, the secrets that were traded so that we can have in our military we can be strategic about how we go about changing those things addressing those things that there will be justice for the person who was selling the secrets and that that person will become a whistleblower and turn on others that they know is also selling secrets we know that the enemy groups together and we lord we just thank you that they will turn on one another and we just thank you lord for the justice that will come and Lord, we thank you for exposing who in China we are, that we have people in bed with. That way we can see who also is around that person and highlight, shine a light on what's going on in the darkness. And Lord, we pray for protection for whatever these secrets were. If they're already moving on it. We just call that the enemy's plans fail now and that the enemy will fall into their own trap in Jesus name. Amen. That's right. In Jesus name. Hallelujah. Excellent prayer. Hallelujah. I'm going to pray for the housing market. Lord, we just thank you right now. Lord, we thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Lord, I thank you. I just want to thank you for every hard work in person who is out there, especially in, in California, who's out there in California, just they're working and they're, look, I, we just we just come alongside them. I know the, the surmounting stress and the pressures. Lord, some people just, you know, can barely make it. But Lord God, I thank you that as they turn to you, that they're going to see peace. Hallelujah. And that, that just goes for every place around this world. Every place around this world, Lord, I thank you. And for the wicked people who have set themselves up on high to try and crash and destroy and to turn against, turn people against e each other. 
who are attempting to exalt some so that they can then be exalted. Lord, I thank you that you are bringing them low and that you are the one who is making making yourself known to this world, that they will indeed know that there is a God who hears from heaven, hallelujah, and that he answers. And we just thank you, Lord, that you're answering by fire. We just appreciate you and everything that you're doing. No, we say no, we say no, we say no to the enemy. It's not going to work. It's not going to work. And even if they, they collapse and destroy the housing market, it won't matter because God be for us. Who, who then could be against us? We appreciate you, Lord, and all that you're doing. We trust in you and not in, not in man, not in other things, not in our own abilities or talents, not in, not in anything, not even, not in no one. We trust in you. In God, we trust is even on America's money. It's on our statues. It's on everything because it's in you, God, that we trust. Hallelujah. We were returning back to you. Hallelujah. And amen. Uh, who would like to go next? We have the one for France. We have uh, public workers uh, with stealing the uh, identities for of homeless people. We have Australian parliament. Loretta's here. She might want to do that one. And then we have uh, the Lincoln Riley Act um, for the immigration bill. Hallelujah. Uh, Kristen, this is Karen. Hey. I just joined uh, just a few minutes ago because I just got off work, but I'm trying to read all of these. I think that what I see here is something about the homeless, their identities being stolen. Yes. Uh, I, I will do my best to because I, I just joined. Don't and then it cut out and got back on. I'll try to do my best here. Yeah, it's the and public, so, it's public uh, workers. It's a public workers ring operation that have joined, they joined together to steal homeless people's identities. Lord, we just come to you right now. Yes, and, and we just thank you so much for revealing this to us so that we could see what is going on with the evil in this world and stealing from those who are less fortunate. Oh, Lord, we know, we know you're going to make sure. We thank you, Lord. We know that you will take care of this, Lord. We stand on Psalms 2111. Although they plot against you, their evil schemes will never succeed, Lord. In Romans 1620, the God of peace will soon crush Satan under your feet. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ will be with these, with these homeless that are already being taken advantage of and are already suffering, Lord. We, we ask that in Jesus name that those who have been stolen that are your children that have had all anything stolen from the enemy to be returned sevenfold Lord we renounce the enemy and his plots and plans against these homeless and those who have stolen from the homeless to be and to answer to God to answer to you Lord and that they don't they no longer get by with this they no longer uh, take advantage of anyone else that you stop them right now. Stop all of any other plots and plans. We come against that right now in Jesus name. Lord, you know, my day and what I've been trying to go. And I'm, I'm, I know, you know, what is going on here, Lord. So with all of my busyness, Lord, I'm just trying to make sure to come against and, and I'm just Feeling confused, Lord, I cancel any and all any and all plots and plans against me right now as I try to pray this prayer, Lord. I repent for anything that I have knownly, unknowingly come into agreement with the enemy. And I renounce it now in Jesus' name. And I loose it all for my soul. I say, now you go now to the foot of the cross to be judged by Jesus. All assignments are over. You have no authority here. Lord, thank you for all that you do, and thank you for loving us. Thank you for loving these people in all walks of life. Thank you for, for your love, your mercy. Thank you for Psalms 91. Thank you, Lord, for Psalms 4610. Be still and know that you are God. You will exalt among the nations. You will be exalted, exalted in the earth. Thank you, Lord, for never leaving us, never forsaking us as homeless or anyone. Just thank you for your love. Thank you for your mercy. Thank you for your grace, Lord. We trust in you. 
Oh, yeah. Amen, Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. We trust in you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. We have France becomes the world's first country to write abortion in their constitution. If anybody wants to take that one, we also have Australia. Parliament becomes the first in the world to acknowledge excess, excess deaths. And then we have uh, the Lincoln Riley Act. So this was uh, an immigration bill that they made to basically, what basically what this bill is stating is that they want, they, they are wanting uh, immigrants who are coming in, if they have, you know, any type of, uh, any type of um, thing on their record, you know, that they would, that they would not be allowed to come in. So, you know, if they say, oh, they had, it was only just this minor, this or that, you know, whatever they said, <clears throat> you know, as, as to what, you know, wasn't that big of a deal. Well, you know, they might not have been murderers where they came from, or maybe they were and they got away with it, but you know they probably they had harsher laws and uh, against murder, unlike unfortunately America, which has gotten soft on crime. So that, but we want we want we're at, we want greater we we want greater than, um we that we want this to continue to move in the right direction. But if anybody wants to pray for that as well, um so we do have those. Hallelujah, Lord. Okay. I'll pray for Australia. <laughs> Please, thank you. <laughs> Our Lord. Thank you, Father God, that after all the court cases that we finally have a righteous judgment. Lord, you know how many went before the courts, how the ambos and the police and all those went through courts and never never got a righteous judgment and now we have that righteous judgment thank you father god thank you lord jesus we ask we say we say in the mighty name of jesus that that same righteous judgment will happen in the high court of australia where the high court of australia has the last say where the high court of australia has has stopped so much we thank you, Father God, that we will have righteousness in our courts. We thank you, Father God, that that you are the supreme judge of all this earth and that they will come under the obedience of you. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Amen. I just love that. Woo. Thank you. That... <laughs> I get that it's like pixie it feels like i thought it's not obviously not pixie dust or fairy dust but it just the way it sprinkles it's like it's like sprinkling all over my head Woo, lord i just thank you i just thank you for that hallelujah thank you jesus thank you thank you lord hallelujah it's a powerful prayer there uh loretta changed the atmosphere actually <clears throat> hallelujah um we got i think we have we're down to two more guys hallelujah and then at the end Somebody can pray for President Trump. Hallelujah. I'll take I'll take France, Kristen. Who is that? Is that Lori? No, Anita. Anita! France is yours. Boom. Lord, as your children, we know the true meaning of abortion. That's it's all demonic, Lord. And we come against that. We ask that you send your awakening angels to france to remove the veil of deception from people's eyes ears minds and hearts so they will see hear, and know and feel the truth of what is actually taking place with the abortions and we thank you lord that you are there to accept those poor children that are aborted that you are there to accept them into the kingdom of heaven to be with you and we come against the abortion lord we come against it in jesus name we ask for it to be stopped and we thank you that you are opening people's minds to see and know the truth so that the abortions will stop in jesus name Amen. Yes. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Yes, Lord. And we just send the host to heaven. We send the host to heaven right now to behead Moloch. 
We're to be head Moloch in Jesus' mighty name. Lord, there's no more, no more on the yep, on the world stage, no more. No more. Those principalities have to come down. No more in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you. Yes. And then um the the bill, the immigration bill, and then uh President Trump, if anybody wants to take it. Hallelujah. I can do the immigration bill. Okay, go ahead. Oh, Lord, we just thank you. We thank you for your justice, that this is a step in the right direction. And we call for more of your righteous judgment to come down, Lord. In your word, you would have the tribes, your tribes and the Israelites set up asylum cities and not... It was not everyone can come in and we want safety in our country, Lord. We want our borders secure. We want to know who's coming in. We want to know who they are. And we want the same righteous judgment that you had the Israelites do back before. We want that again. We want that safety and that security through you. We don't want just anyone coming in here. We want to know who they are. We want to know that they aren't coming to steal, kill, and destroy from us. And we thank you, Lord, that that is your will for us. You would not have made it a law then if it is not your will now. And we just thank you, Lord, that it will be on earth as it is in heaven. And Lord, we just, we send peace. Yes. We send the peace and your love to that family because how tragic is it that something like that happens to where your your son or daughter's name has to be is named after a bill because something so horrific happened and we thank you lord for healing those soul wounds that went for encountering this family and that they used this tragedy to do good and i say that this this life that was taken too soon that the enemy stole we we say no more there will not be any more to this there will not be a list added to where this bill has all these other names underneath it that were taken too soon and we just thank you lord for your justice for your righteousness and for your protection and security in you in jesus name amen yes lord and just adding for all those whose lives were taken as well because i believe this wasn't just her there's many other but just lord we and even for the people in the area lord that they would not live in constant fear lord we rebuke the spirit of fear we rebuke that spirit of fear right now i drive you out by the blood of jesus christ and i command you out out of our land lord we just thank you we thank you jesus we look to you. Oh, yes. Yeah, you know, I just hear the Lord even just saying that. And and <laughs> him saying that when all hell breaks loose, look to him. And he really means that. When all hell breaks loose, the hordes of hell coming out. Look to him. Look to him. Lord, we just thank you. Would anybody like to pray over Trump? If not, I can pray over him, but hallelujah. We we definitely want to pray over President Trump, not because we glorify him. I just I know we have to say that because there's people who think, oh, you just worship him because we say his name a couple of times. Well, how many times was Moses' name said? I mean, come on. That that has nothing, that's just silly. But for the sake of no one having that argument, he's who God chose. So we're praying for him. Um, Did we pray for the, the Uvalde shooting? Oh, you know what? Did, did not? Oh, we, do you mind praying for that, Trisha? Of course not. Yeah. Okay. Can you just um, let I, I, me read it again here? Okay. Yeah. Did, um, unless Cecile, did, did Cecile pray for? She did. She prayed for Tim Tebow. That's right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Please do that. Thank you so much. Can you just uh, put it up on the screen? I just want to read what it said again, please. 
No. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm sorry, pull it up. Let's see what she made me do. I heard Taylor go, bah -ha -ha. <laughs> <laughs> She made me do extra work, Jesus, after all. She's being mean. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Here it is. Oh that my that goodness. Is. Here we are. Okay, where is it at? So basically they reported, which we are oh. that there were many failures in the shooting, the school shooting, mm -hmm. their response to it. Um, we yeah. know that there was so many. I mean, uh, the amount of time it took them to yeah. act after they got there was atrocious. So the, it was 12 or 19 students, I believe, and, and two, mm -hmm. two teachers who who were slaughtered in that school. And this is, I believe, was like an elementary or something. I believe so. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we we want to we want to pray for for not only for justice and and you know just and recompense, but also for the peace of the families and the communities, uh, the surrounding communities. Just so much heartbreak for no reason. Lord God, we just thank you, Lord. We come in your son, Jesus' name, Papa, and we just lift up um, this situation, Lord. We lift up all those who, all the families and the community that uh, that lost so, mit so much, Lord. They lost um, their family members, their friends, family members. It, it, was, it rocked the whole community, Lord. It rocked all of Texas and this nation, Lord for this to happen lord and i'm just so thankful that your justice is is coming and and it's starting to come already lord that that these reports are coming out that they did fail lord and and that there was just so much um irresponsible uh, acts in this and and just complete lack of care uh, and with these failures and everything that they did and didn't do to protect these innocent children lord we just thank you lord that that your justice is being done and that that these lost lives lord we just praise you that that they had a chance that they didn't already know you that that we pray right now that, that because you're outside of time that they had a moment to accept you all lord. children go to heaven by the way all children yes I, i'm thinking of the of the, the teachers yes also. yes <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Thank you so much. <laughs> Just like you've told us before that you give, you, you, that you're with them. <laughs> Lord, thank you so much. Lord, so we just continue to pray for more exposure, Lord. We can, we pray that, that your hand will continue to be in this, Lord, and that those who have done wrong will see your justice and those who have lost lives and, and their families and community We'll also see your justice, Lord. We just thank you that, yes, that the enemy has to give back all that he has stolen. We just praise you in advance for all the restoration that you're doing for this family and this these families, this community, the, this um, nation, Lord. We just thank you so much. And, and we thank you for the peace that you are giving and that you that we know you that you answered so many prayers as we prayed for this community and for the families lord and for everybody involved lord we ask that you lose the trauma from all of this all the all those who witnessed this lord and we pray that you convict the hearts of those who were involved in this evil um to come for them to come forward and to can to continue to expose and and uh, become to, to ha have repentance come to you lord so that they can also help this justice be done um for these people lord we just thank you lord that you make beauty from ashes lord we just praise you for that we ask continued protection on the children on the schools on the teachers lord that you will continue to be uh with them all over this nation all over the world lord um that um, they will know, the enemy will know that he can't get away with this anymore. And we just praise you and thank you that your will be done, your way be done. And we praise you for your peace above all understanding. In Jesus' name, amen. 
Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, Lord. Hallelujah, Lord. Hallelujah, Lord. Did anybody want to pray in particular for Trump? Uh, anybody or anybody in particular, I'll, excuse me. I'll do Trump. Okay, please do. Hallelujah. Father, we lift up Donald Trump, our rightful president before you. We ask for supernatural protection over his life and the lives of his family and all of those that are working with him. We place supernatural youth upon him and strengthen him to shoulder all that he's enduring from the enemy. Protect and guard his heart so he remains faithful to you. Let his eyes be open to see you and his ears to hear you clearly as we pray for his obedience to carry out your will. Clear from his presence any who are trying to deceive him and send him God-fearing men and women to assist him. And force the tongues of all those who are lying against him to speak the truth and to move the hearts of the judges to show him favor. Father, let everything the enemy is doing boomerang back on them like you did with Haman. And may your name be glorified with all that you accomplish through him. And we thank you for your plans for this country and for this world. Hallelujah. I'm just seeing, uh, it was seeing Trump swimming against the current, swimming against, but very strong, strongly swimming against the current. And then just seeing him climbing, which is, this is the first, this is one of the first times I've seen him doing something <laughs> in a while here. Um, climbing up a waterfall so water is like pushing him down as hard as it can obviously but he is just climbing up it he's steadily going so what i just thank you thank you jesus for all that you're doing thank you lord let his arms not tire out i thank you jesus yes thank you lord that you were there to help him he, he's gonna make it through hallelujah because god is for him it doesn't matter what people are saying or what they're doing. God is for him and has gone before him. And Lord, we just thank you. We thank you for all that you've done, all that you're doing. We lift you up, Jesus. We honor you. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus, for all that you've done. Hallelujah. We thank you, Jesus. Worthy is worthy are you. Worthy are you. Worthy are you. We give you glory and honor and praise forever. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. God wins. Hallelujah. All right, everybody. Shalom. Thank you for coming out to pray and just standing with us. Thank you. Hallelujah for being here. Hey, mm -hmm. Uh, so Holy Spirit just reminded me. I forgot to pray when it came to us selling. Um not us, but someone who wasn't supposed to be selling secrets to China. I forgot yeah. to pray for the ones undercover in China, that their yes. covers would not be blown, Lord. Yes. That's in the host of Hornets 4 to build a hedge of protection around yes. these people. I thank you, Holy Spirit, for your perfect wisdom and timing and strategy yes. and directing their steps. And I say that the host and Hornets will go forth and set traps for the enemy to mm -hmm. fall in and that those working for the enemy will be exposed yeah. while yeah. while those who are undercover behind enemies lines will be hidden in plain sight in Jesus yes. name oh, amen perfect. thank you lord for thank the protection you, thank you lord hallelujah yes thank you i just heard the word intercepted so what i just and it might be in regards to uh either I, I don't know it could be in regards to like identities not being like somebody trying to blow an identity and then when it was intercepted or it could be the secrets being intercepted i don't know but lord i thank you uh, or just the you know the plan of the enemy was you know intercepted by lord I, I don't know but lord we thank you we give you praise and honor and glory hallelujah we thank you we thank you for what you're doing we we honor you we recognize you hallelujah all right everybody have a wonderful Sabbath rest, remember to rest, remember to be obedient, remember to seek him, remember to seek him uh, and, and just and submit to him, hallelujah, and, and yes, and, and remember to be thankful, remember to, to, to be thankful, um, Custer, I just put you outside, sweetheart, just, leave the squirrels alone, remember to be thankful to the Lord, uh, in all things, be thankful. Hallelujah. So thank you, Lord. Is there anything else, Holy Spirit? 
anything else, Jesus, I just thank you. I want to honor you. Hallelujah. You know, I just hear the Lord saying, and give them time. Sometimes, you know, we can just be so rushed about, you know, wanting to pray for a hundred million things, but give, you know, and then expecting the answer for, you know, maybe it's just 10 things, maybe it's five things, but he's like, I really wanted to focus on this one thing, you know, give him time to move in his, you know, his way when he's going to reveal how he's going to reveal how he's going to move and et cetera. Give him the time that he deserves to have because his timing is perfect. I know we say that, but then, you know, we don't always adhere to that. You know, we can ascend to it in our mind, but not in our in our will and our emotions. So praise God, hallelujah. Anything else that you wanted, Lord? Hallelujah. And, you know, I just keep hearing that song by Lauren Daigle, the seek, seek you first or seek him first. I just keep hearing that right now. Just seek the Lord. Doesn't mean it has anything, you know, special about the song or whatever, but just the, just what it's saying, seek him first. I know sometimes we feel like we do, but let's just ask him if we do. Okay. Instead of just be like, I do, I do seek him for it. Let's just ask him. Let's ask him. Hallelujah. Lord, am I seeking you first? Lord, am I making you first? Because how wrong could we be? Right. Hallelujah. Lord, we thank you. We give you glory and honor and praise forever. Amen and shalom, everybody. Have a wonderful, wonderful rest of your night and evening. And tomorrow we'll see you on Sunday, Soak Sunday. Um, we're ready. We're going to be encountering the Lord. So hallelujah and good night, everyone. <laughs>